depression, anxiety, pretty much mental health does not care what race, age, belief, social status, or stage of chapter in your life you're in. There's a big problem happening with mental health and, and around the world. And it's time that the church starts talking about it, doing something about it, because they have the answer. Let's get into this video. Cartel got me working for the big faces. Federally got my car full of brick cases. Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking. I was picked to my back for my shoelaces. Got out, shoulda seen the look on they faces. All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper. Set up by the crew, they done put a banger. In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there. No thing, then attorney went and beat the case. Got a job digging holes for minimum wage. Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me. Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing. Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling. Six time failing. I went back to prison. Got my head right, got my bread right. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right. I got a mission. Trying to get back to my boys in the prison. The old me's gone. I ain't never. Hey, what's up guys? My name is JC. I am Ron Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my team, mi familia, mi raza, you already know what time it is. Suelta la suburba, because we're about to go see Jesus. What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Ron Strong. Yeah. <laughs> you know what time it is. It is all in your name. All in your I know because I have been there before, you know. <laughs> I, I hate to say it, but this is why I connect with so many people because I, I was the poster child for everything you could possibly think of from, you know, addiction to depression, I mean, to mental health. I know, I know how you feel. I felt depression, anxiety. I was suicidal, you know, and yes, even though I, I was out of prison, I was still in prison in my mind and in my soul. The guilt, the shame, it, it just, it was eating me alive, the, the emptiness, the hole in my chest, the what ifs, you know, what if I was smarter? What if I was taller? What if I could be better? What if I would have never went to prison? What if I could write? What if I was better looking? What if I wasn't fat? What if I had all my teeth? What if I was smarter? What if I could talk better? What if I had more? I have good news. Freedom from mental health, depression, anxiety, the bad thoughts. God created you to live a life filled with faith, peace, joy, goodness, and, and hope. I know because I have been there before. I was in a dark depression for 41 years. Through Jesus, my wife and friends, and changes in, in my lifestyle, I, I chose to live. I chose to live fighting mental and emotional health is not just you know simply just reading your bible praying more no there's set components on to fully recover and find freedom through jesus the spiritual physical emotional and rational components are very important pretty much setting guidelines and standards into our everyday lifestyle. Many great leaders and prophets in the Bible walked through times of despair, depression, discouragement, yet God used them regardless. You are not alone. You're not. Your faith is not broken. God is still with you. 
So fix your eyes on Jesus. Dig deep into the Bible, into the scripture. Spend time alone with him. Start a small workout routine. The answer is Jesus. No one, no one is in the middle. Either you have a relationship with Christ or you're not. Either you're born again or you're not. Either you're a child of God or an enemy. Either you're storing up wrath or mercy. Either you're going to heaven or you're going to hell. There is no middle. That's just, you know, let's take the sugar off the top. I like sharing what I'm learning in my walk because I, I know for a fact that there's you know, thousands of JCs out there that maybe maybe your, your life wasn't as, as bad as mine or maybe it was worse, but we have something in common. And, and that's that we, we lived our whole life without Jesus in it. So our whole life we, we're depressed, we had anxiety, we had we had no peace inside of us. So I share all this because this was given to me as a free gift. I, I didn't deserve this, but this was given to me. So now I have that responsibility to share with you what was given to me. Honestly, I, I would have never thought that I was gonna be able to feel what I, what I feel today. And, and to me, you know, it's a big deal to, to have like faith, peace, joy, and like feeling good about myself, uh, having hope that tomorrow God is gonna use me in, in another way. Uh. <laughs> yeah, it's real, it's real. That's why I share it with you guys, because if you're tired, then it's, it's, it's time. It's time that you say it, and it's time that you start playing on the right team. My name's JC, I am Wrong Strong. Hey, don't judge nobody, stay in your lane. Live savage, and remember, live for him. Catch you guys on the rebound.